Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor, and we're live with so many amazing people in the chat. So good to see you all. I'm so glad you're here hanging out with me. Today's going to be an interesting conversation, and later in today's live, we're going to open up the phone lines, my Zoom link, and we're going to let you guys come in and debate me, but I wanted to have a town hall, if you will, a conversation about some things I'm seeing out there, along with some conspiracy theories, all around Princess of Wales, Catherine, am I allowed to say Middleton? You know what? I am, because I'm American. <laughs> they aren't my royals. I respect you. I respect your, you can call my president, whatever the heck you want. I don't care. Unless you live here, you don't need to do it. So my whole opinion here is going to share something probably different than some of my UK or Canadian or royal viewers, my royalists. Guys, you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to call her whatever I want. Okay. I'm going to try to be respectful, but it was trending. Where's Kate? That's what was trending. And I got a lot of flack because I called her Kate because I was embracing what the, the hashtag was. I got in trouble because I use Middleton in my titles. Guys, that's part of the SEO. That's what the headlines call her. Just because people are using that term doesn't mean they're trying to be disrespectful. That's just what her name was. Just like Megan is trying to lose Markle, I'm going to continue to call her Markle. I'm not going to let her get away with that. So I want to start here with this, this idea of like, She's Princess Catherine. You must show her respect. The Mont what is it? Montessor wins, whatever the thing. I don't know her old place. Sorry, I don't. Uh, I'm here to just talk about the news, and I got to do it both ways. And the next big debate that came about was this idea that we are not supposed to show her photos. In fact, here, we're going to get to the photos in a second, but lost respect here. You should not have posted this, nor promoted the speculation. I'm done, Andy. And it wasn't just them. I got to go. And, I, and this is not shade at my colleagues. I just want to present where I'm coming from, why I'm having this conversation. Here's my buddy, uh, Jesus Royal Rogue, who I love and respect. Nope. <clears throat> not going to share here on my videos. Catherine's pap photos. You know my stance about their privacy. Uh, my Taz, who I love to death. Taz, I love you. No shade. I'm only just showing the difference of opinions. And again, these are people who this really matters. Catherine has been spotted alive and well, being driven in Windsor by her mother, Carol. She's at least given a recap. I'm not sharing the photographs because I think the target harassment has already crossed far too many boundaries, including the press. She asked for privacy, and I'll respect that. And then it's a lot of people. Good. It's been eye-opening seeing how many royalist accounts <clears throat> are posting them. But the squatties said this. So what? Why Why care what squatties believe? Catherine's privacy is way more important. I thought we were loyal and protective. All right. So here's where I got to start. Here's where I got to start. So hear me out. You may disagree. You may get turned off. Before I even say anything, I think it's important to remind everybody, we're going to disagree. <laughs> we're going to disagree at times. Friends disagree, right? We can't be so stubborn in our beliefs that we lose respect of someone who doesn't share our same beliefs. If we can't have conversations about difference of opinions, then we're a lost cause. We got to be able to have different opinions and share them respectfully. And respectfully, I'm going to disagree here on this. I, as someone who's also an American, who they aren't my royals, I can't show Kate Middleton some sort of weird loyal respect that I don't share and show to Meghan and Harry. I just can't. I'd be a biased hypocrite if I decided to say, well, Kate Middleton's photos are off the record. That is just too far gone. Dude, we share everything about Meghan and Harry. And I got no qualms with it. I got no qualms with it. They deserve it. They've, they've put themselves in this place, but to suddenly try to label some people above the line of who we're allowed to show photos about a report on or others, we are hypocrites. We are massive hypocrites if we show this. And it frustrates me because I'm here to talk about the truth, to share my feelings and my opinions on Kate, on Harry and everybody. And we're not always going to agree. And I look, I respect that. I hope you will respect that too. Just because we disagree on something doesn't mean you have to leave or tell me to F off or I'm so disappointed. I lost respect. You know what, Runner and WC, with all due respect, but bye bye good riddance. I don't want this kind of energy here. I don't want to have it. You can have this, this energy, but we are allowed to have our opinions and do what we want. And I do not believe sharing this photo is disrespectful. Now that's my belief. You by all means have every right not to share them, not to look at them. That's how this works, right? You have that right. Just like I have that right. And I'm not here bashing Jesus or, or Taz. You guys do you respect However, don't disrespect me, Chad, or anybody else, because I chose to report on it. 
And I honestly think it's important we report on it because I think when we don't report on it and I think we uh, we sh we decide to protect Kate and not show a public photo of Kate, but then we'll go and completely bash Megan up close with this and fake babies that and da -da 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 kids and da -da -da -da. everything is uh, is on limits on limits with ha with Harry and Megan. But Kate publicly driving in a car with her mom isn't look. There are things that are off limits. Let me be clear, right? And there are clear things that are off limits, including her own topless photos that were she won in a court order. Now, of course, of course, these photos of her that were out there, of course we don't share them. But I also wouldn't share it if it was Megan. I wouldn't share if it was Harry, right? I, with his, with his, I don't want to see his frozen bit out. I don't want to see Williams. There are certain things that, of course, there's privacy for. If this was a photo of Princess Catherine on the operating table, of course we don't share that. If this is something private in their home through a window that no one was allowed to see and we got, of course we don't show that. But this is a photo of the Princess of Wales driving around in her car. And it's questionable whether it's her, which is a debate we're going to talk about. And it's a questionable of was this staged? And I got a lot of flack just for suggesting that it's her, that, that it was staged. I just assumed it was her. I looked at it. We're going to talk about whether it is or not. That's another part of this video. But I wanted to have this whole discussion because I think it's important that we all have a reality check here. You are allowed to have your beliefs. You are allowed to respect the princess. You're, people are allowed to respect Megan. We got to give the same rights to everybody. I'm allowed to report on the photo. You're allowed to not report on the photo. We all have to be able to do this with a civility that's not going to turn us into sugars. And the problem is if we are so loyal to Kate and bashing our dis, how dare we disrespect? Well, then you are becoming a sugar. You're just, you're just Kate's sugar. And that's a problem, and I'm never going to do that. So, I, I, look, if this is a speech that loses a lot of you, I, 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 I'm sorry, but that's what we got to do because I'm not going to just fawn over or join one side and only bash the other. I can't do that. I, I just That's not what I do. I'm not here just to do an anti-Harry and Meghan channel, and I'm accused of it all the time. I'm here to talk about royal stuff as a dumb American who doesn't really know but is trying to be respectful and be, you know, civil about it all. And that's what you're going to get here with my type of coverage. Certain channels are royalists. They're going to be loyal to Kate no matter what. I will call out any of them if I think that there's something that they're doing is wrong. <clears throat> and that's just what you're going to get. Now, there's definitely a leaning right now towards Catherine and William. I think they've been incredibly classy and more respectful. I think Meghan and Harry have run their mouth off unfairly. All of that. We know this. I stand by everything I've said. However... This photo here, this photo right here, I think it's fair game. This isn't a hospital photo. This isn't a topless photo. This isn't a photo through her window at home. This is a photo of her in public. And I, look, that's how this has got to be for me. And I think for a lot of us, there's got to be a line of when it's a lot. For the, for the royal palace, be like, you must give privacy. You may not talk about or show photographs. Bullshit. Sorry, that doesn't work for me. That doesn't. I don't live in the UK. I'm in America, and I'm not going to follow that rule. Now, if I think it's something that's really like a great, like, oh my God, this is so. Why are you showing that? That's disgusting. On either side of Meghan or of Catherine, of course there are lines that we follow. But no, public photos are fair game. If we're going to go after Meghan and Harry the way we have, come on, guys. This photo's off limits. Why? Why? Anybody who's demanding and losing, unsubscribing because I refuse to, to, to bow down to this person who's not my princess, uh, sorry, I'm not going to do it. We have to talk about this photo, and I'm going to talk about this photo. In fact, I want to talk about this photo, but I want to get this all out there so you see where I'm coming from. And again, I respect if you disagree, right? We got to learn how to dis agree to disagree at times. So I, I want you to hear me out. I wanted you to hear me out. I wanted to do that rant, speech, whatever you want to call it, because... That's why I'm justifying why I shared it and why I'm continuing to share it and why I'm now going to have this debate today because I don't know if I believe this is fake. A lot of you guys think this is fake. Um, more photos coming in here uh, of, of Catherine. I don't even know if you saw these yet, guys. But this idea that these are fake, I, I don't know. Like, do, what? I, I chat, look, like, how do you know if this is fake? How do you know? I'd like to put a one in the chat if you think this is real, a two in the chat, if you think this is fake. Like I'm looking at this photo and, I'm, and, and these photos as they come in, a lot of them from her cars and stuff, 
Real or fake? One real, two fake. I want to hear what your thoughts are. As I as I look, it's like I just they're so zoomed in, they're hard to tell. There's a lot going in here. And I, look, I think it's her. It looks like her to me, right? So what do we do? What do we do? Uh, at the end of the day, the question is, we got to assume, you know, all right, let's assume it is her, okay? I see a lot of ones. It's it's real. Two, fake. It's more ones than two. Interesting. I just wanted to see where these are. One, asking if this photo is real or fake. It's a lot of ones. There are definitely a good amount of twos now coming in. Regarding this photo on screen, this is a fake. <laughs> this is AI. I made this in AI. So I wanted to share that and I wanted to trick some of you at first because I want you to get to see how good it's getting where it's so easy to fake a picture of someone in a car. It is so, so easy to create a photo of a celebrity in a car. The apps nowadays are insane, guys. Look at this photo. Now, it's you can tell the car's a little outdated. There's some weird stuff in it. But overall, my goodness, my, look at any of my thumbnails and you'll see all my thumbnails are AI illustrations and they're fake. They're all fake. So I, I share that because the reason I'm even humoring this debate is because, yeah, this photo's fake. <laughs> this photo you're looking at on the screen is not the one that was shared and it's fake and it looks damn realistic. It looks like it's her in a friggin' car. So how do we know what's real or fake anymore? It is a massive problem we are facing in this world and with journalism and YouTube channels and all the things we do because I don't even know anymore, guys. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I, how are we supposed to know what's real or fake until it's confirmed? And then even if it's confirmed, how do we know? Because they could be playing us. We are in a place right now where we got to try to be as honest as possible. And that's why I wanted to start the show the way I did and everywhere else. I am not going to be here peddling you fake AI images as real. I'm going to challenge every image I see, whether it makes me unpopular or not. I'm always going to push back. Like, is this the right way? Everybody might be one way, but I, I, I the Johnny Depp trial and so many things have taught me we got to be more careful. Now, sometimes I fall for it. Sometimes I run into a tune like, oh my God, this seems realistic. Or I know something a little more or my instinct says this. And I'll tell you my opinions from time to time. But we got to be more careful because yes, this photo is fake. Okay, I made it. Uh, in fact, I want to prove it to you just so you can see how insane this is, guys. So, so you believe, you understand why I'm, I'm believing. I, here's here's four different options of the same photo, just so you can see. This was all done, the, the car changes uh, things. And then I was like, all right, well, give me, a, give me a variant of this one. Can we have some more? I, I want some more versions of Catherine in a car. Oh, look, I mean, she looks badass even in AI. <laughs> but this is the problem. This is the problem. Now, I, I put in, like, put her in a wig with glasses in a car. And here they pop up. Because I wanted it to seem a little, when I was doing my thumbnail, I wanted to create. But as I created these, I realized this is scary. This is scary. Who knows anymore what we're looking at? Who knows anymore? And when you look at these photos, I, I can't tell. There, there are Superman photos that have been leaking all over the internet. First, first look of him in his new suit. The new James Gunn movie is making a new Superman. And, and James Gunn had to be like, come on, dude, this is fake. But it was kind of annoying because I'm like, James, I, how, do, how, do you, how do we even know anymore? <laughs> how do we know anymore? And it's important that I tell you, all of my thumbnails, the majority of my thumbnails are AI driven. My thumbnails are illustrations. They're posters, if you will. They're, they're, they're like a, a sketch. And yes, I use AI a lot on Meghan and Harry. In fact, I'm going to show you that it, it, these are all fake pictures of Meghan and Harry. These are all fake pictures. I never hide this. I don't want Meghan and Harry to sue and be like, I'm misleading. I put it all over my videos. It is on every video description. If you look in and I'm making it clear in videos, my thumbnails use Photoshop and AI to reconstruct images to sort of create a tone of the topic I'm talking about, right? But when you look at these, I want you to get how serious it's getting that now it's like, I don't know if that's really a pap shot of her or not. I can't tell anymore. The other day, someone's like, you darkened Megan's skin color. No, I didn't. I just picked one from this AI filter. <laughs> yeah, I wanted I wanted Megan Markle being celebrated by women. And I, I put that in. And here she was. 
Here she was because she's doing a women's conference. And so, yes, these are illustrations, right? But the problem is they do look more photoreal. So I never want to hide that from you. I'm never doing that for the news. I'm doing that for the thumbnail to get you in so I can own the image. It's a, it's an illustration. They're public figures. That way it's not owned by a photographer who can come try to ding me. It's a whole thing of legally. Now, this may change where someone might try to challenge that in the future. And until then, that's where we're at. But I digress. Here's what the problem is. I don't know what pictures are real or fake. So now let's look at the alleged pictures. Now, this seems like a good photo from the lighting, from the, the focus, the, the focal point and everything else, the way the sun's hitting. This does feel like a legit photo. There's a, a grain to it as we zoom into it. I got to be honest, this feels more realistic. Not, I don't see any weird like AI issues with sort of for dis, dis formalities or anything like that. Like, this seems legit. Now, I don't know who her mom, what her mom is. That's, I imagine her mom. Her mom would be very hard to recreate in AI because she's not a public figure. So that's another telling flag to me that this is a real photo and not AI. Um, but that's what we got so far. Now, there, there's a zoomed in version of her, which we can see here. But again, it's, it's so pixelated that it's like kind of hard to tell. And it's funny because I see a lot of these complaints. Doesn't look like her. Looks more like Pippa. How do you how do you tell at this blur? Doesn't look like her. These are uh, you guys, and I'm not trying to call you out. Be mean. Does I thought that was her sister? Doesn't look like her. My eyesight must be failing. It's Pippa, her sister. Plus there are five tires seen for the vehicle, suggesting it's fake. Oh, I'm gonna look for that. I didn't notice that. Fake. That's not her. Also, the uh, that's not her. The lady in the car doesn't have the two moles, and it's a rounder in the face. Looks like her sister Pippa. So here's the example. We don't see the mole. Now, look, no disrespect to this Twitter user. How on earth do you see a mole there? All I see, the mole would be the same size as all these pixelations. So no, I don't I don't see the mole. I don't see how you could see a mole given that the resolution isn't good enough. I don't know. At the same time, like I said in the beginning, I don't know anymore. <laughs> I don't know how we're supposed to tell. But this idea that are this a fake, is this a fake? It's a fair question. Some people will say, oh, you conspiracy theorists, how dare you? No, this is a legit issue. I, I, we, we're going to have to do this a lot on this show as photos and things come out. Is it real? This technology has been in here for years, but now it's really starting to get into the public hands. And now anybody can do it. So it's, it's exciting, but terrifying. And we have to be careful as we talk about this. And right now, I can't tell. I, 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 that looks like her to me. That looks like her to me. It doesn't feel like AI, but. I don't know. It doesn't look like Pippa to me. It looks more rounder than Pippa just because I can't see a mole there. I don't know if that again. And tell me, chat, is that her mom? That would be incredibly hard to fake. Now, someone said, look at the five tires. I don't I don't see five tires. Is there one? Oh, interesting. Yep. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Now. Wow. OK, let's look at this. So here's the zoom in. And again, that's always, when you want to look for fake images, that's always, now, what's weird about, that looks like something in the background, if I'm, I'm not going to lie. It doesn't look like a tire to the car. It looks like something in the background, like another parked car or something. But I will admit, that is a, that is something, that is odd. Because I don't see anything else there to warrant what that is. Now, that could be like a trash can, honestly, but there's like two parts of it. But that is strange. There's like a, a fifth wheel, but also this little piece that absolutely, and you, you can see a definitive line here. And I do a lot of Photoshop. But you can see a definitive line here that makes me think it is further back and it's something else. But I can see why that would make people question. Now Now that you we're looking at it for real, you guys get a better sense as to what we're talking about. I, I, I don't know. It's really just the one photo that they've zoomed in three times. They caught one photo of her driving by and they caught it at a high, probably driving by quickly, high shutter speed. Got it. Now I'd love. Now it's interesting. As I guess, can someone get me the link to the um, uh, what's this place called again? This is Shutter um, Backgrid. If anybody has the link to the Backgrid site, there might be more we can look at. But I imagine there aren't because they would be all over the press if they were. They would have gotten them. Um, but this is accredited to Backgrid. Now a lot of people are upset because they're like. Catherine would never do that. She would never resort to what to, to what Megan does. But I would come back. How do you, says who? That is your loyalism, and that's making you so biased that you're underestimating a chess move. Because why wouldn't she? Why wouldn't she want to do this? And there could be various reasons why she wants to do this. 
to to build sympathy, to shove it in Charles's face if they're having a tiff, to shove it in Megan's face. There are a million chess moves that this could be that make me wonder if this was indeed a staged photo op that she wanted the world to see and know, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. You guys are being insane bothering me. There's a lot of benefits to her leaking this. Let's be clear. And she knows the UK is going to fight about whether they can even share it or not. And it's great. It's sort of a nice little way to leak it out to folks like us who report it. And a lot of you UK viewers will, will oh, we get, but then we'll, we'll still talk about it. But you'll still watch because you know you're fascinated. And honestly, for me, yeah, I, I, is it fake? Uh, this Now I'm going off my opinion. I'm going to put some polls in. We're going to talk about it. And I'm going to have you guys call in because I want to talk about this. You guys are going to get the debate for the rest of the show. We're going to talk and get more into this, but I'm, I'm going to trim this video here just so I have a video to stand alone that sells all this. And, and to end that part of it, my opinion, I think it's real. I think that thing in the back isn't a fifth wheel. I think there's some sort of something on the edge of the road, like a trash can or something parked or a there's something there. It does feel like it's separated from the car itself. It'd be very hard to recreate her mom in that car seat, to be honest. AI... Create Catherine Middleton's mom. There's not enough photos to do it. The lighting, the way it's hitting, it's pretty legit. You can tell this side's brighter. This looks like a real snap photo. And then my head goes to immediately think that, yes, this was staged. Not staged, but tipped off. We're going to drive by. If you catch it, you catch it type of sort of thing. And I think they snapped it. They caught it. And someone put it out there so they could show the proof of life. But also as sort of an F you to everybody who's bothering her. Because honestly, people should stop bothering her. Like right now, she should be recouping. But, but she has ways to drive around with tinted windows. She has security that could have blocked Paps. There's no reason she had to go down this road. I don't even know the road, but I know enough about the Royals now to know they don't do things like this by accident. They don't. They're not dumb. Like, this is ridiculous to imply that they, oh, well, this, I wouldn't have staged it. Of course, it, to say that this happened without their involvement, to me, makes them look dumb. How do you get this to happen and do that? And oh, I didn't think there would be a photographers around. To me, that's more offensive to, to Catherine, the royal family, that this wasn't staged. If they're not on top of every move, then they failed because it's their job to be on top of every move. So is this photo fake? I don't believe it is personally, but I'm going to open up the call. We're going to talk to you. And do I think that this uh, was staged? Yes. I think it was not staged but I think she was in on knowing that the paparazzi would be there to take it. Those are my two opinions, but I want to get your opinions. I'm going to put some poll, some votes in the chat for you to vote. And now I'm going to send you the link so you can call in as well. What a show. We had so many amazing callers call in. If you want to watch the full show, become a member on our Patreon. You'll get the link tonight or first thing tomorrow with the full show in a post. Uh, so thanks to all our Patreon members. You guys are incredible. Lots of stuff coming, and you guys are supporting us legit, so I really appreciate it. And if you missed today's video over on Popcorn Palace, you should be subscribed over there, guys. Make sure you hit the bell. That's your source for daily royalty. We're going to be live there every Friday now, starting uh, this Friday, doing a royal party with special guests. Pr trying to do it every Friday morning. So I hope you guys will see us over there. In the meanwhile, if you missed my first video this morning, I hope you'll check out my commentary on Kate's uncle, Catherine's uncle, Gary Goldsmith, who uh, many are suspecting is going to torch Meghan and Harry. Here's how he walked in. I got a lot of thoughts. And is this right? Should we be okay with Uncle Gary doing this? A lot of you in the comments were not happy. Uh, let me know your thoughts over there. In the meanwhile, make sure if you haven't already, subscribe here. Hit the bell for all alerts. Smash that like button and leave your comments down below. Always a pleasure. Such a fun show. Thanks for all the conversation and debate civilly. You guys are the best. Stay tuned for more here on Popcorn Planet. And check out Lewis over on Nerd Report next. See you guys soon.